Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up the QuickBooks export module to take all of your BrightAlive data out of BrightAlive and put it into QuickBooks. First thing you need to do is log into your account. If you are a standard plan member, you will have access to this feature. Um, so go ahead and log into your account, click on Settings, Point of Sale, QuickBooks Export Settings. When you click here, you should have a screen that resembles what we're looking at right now. Uh, you should have all these mappings down here below. If for some reason you don't have these mappings, the system should uh, prompt you to go ahead and give us a call and we'll get your, your mapping record set up correctly. Uh, for folks that migrated over from the old system, some of them might not come in correctly. So just give us a call if you have any trouble, but once you uh, see this screen, you're going to want to um, specify some details before you do your first export. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and specify the date that you want Bright Alive to to start exporting your your sales. So if you launch the system on let's say September 1st, then uh, the system could export from that date. The the end date is optional, so I would recommend pretty much leaving it blank unless you want to specify a certain window of time with which you want to export. But if you leave it blank, um, it will just export everything from this date forward. And then you have your export type. There's either daily or aggregate. And what aggregate means is that each time the system runs its export, it will put everything into typically one journal entry for your sales figures. If you do it on daily, it will break it up into daily journal entries for your sales figures. There's a QuickBooks connector password that you'll need to specify, and I'll show you how to do that later. And then you also want to specify what things you would like to export from Bright Alive. So you have the option of exporting receiving vouchers, sales and sales tax, and cost of goods sold. So let's talk about how these things come over into QuickBooks real quick, and then we'll actually run our first export, and we'll look at how things are exporting. So receiving vouchers um, are created in Bright Alive when you receive products in from your vendors. When you unpack that box, you're going to get an invoice in that box. So the information that you enter into the Bright Alive receiving voucher will come across to your QuickBooks as a bill. Um, and there'll be some account mappings that we'll set up later that'll uh, specify how freight is handled and other things that are uh, paid for during the receiving process. You have your sales and your sales tax. So Bright Alive works uh, according to the gap principle that says, you know, a sale is not a sale until. Um, the product changes hand. The ownership of the product changes hands. So, um, a s Bright Alive will help you manage what we, what's called unearned revenue in the accounting world, or customer deposits. Basically, it's the money that you've received towards your inventory that you have not actually transferred to the customer yet, and that comes across on your on your um, uh, balance sheet as a as a liability. So. Um, Bright Alive helps you manage this this process and pay sales tax just on the orders that were completed in that month. Um, that way you're not prepaying your sales tax and getting into all the administrative headaches of issuing refunds for that, uh, for canceled orders and stuff. Um, so that's how sales come across. And then you have your cost of goods sold. Cost of goods sold uh, is just calculated as you'd expect on completed orders. Okay, now down below you have your account mappings. So basically here we're saying that this bridal, this activity in Bright Alive maps to a certain account in your QuickBooks. And to find that area in QuickBooks, you would just go into your uh, company chart, of, your list chart of accounts here, and you could find all your account names. In the mapping in Bright Alive needs to match exactly your account name in QuickBooks in order for the mapping to be established. The only other thing that you have to specify is the vendor in QuickBooks that you pay your sales tax to. So if we go back to QuickBooks and we go to our go to our vendor center, we'll see we have a uh, a sales tax vendor here, and that vendor just needs to map up exactly to Bright Alive. Once you've done that, you're going to need to you've specified your settings. Now you're going to need to download what's called the QuickBooks Web Connector. That's just the program. There's a link to it in the support article below this video but it'll take you to a page that looks like this. You'll just download and install the QuickBooks Web Connector and when it's done installing it'll look something like this. And once you have the QuickBooks Web Connector installed you'll be able to go back to your Bright Alive account and click download QuickBooks Web Connector file. When you do that it's going to download a little file called brightalive.qwc. You can open that up You just click on it if you're in Chrome or some other browsers you have to open up the downloads folder 
in your computer but wherever it is just go ahead and open it up and once you do that QuickBooks will prompt you to trust the Bride Alive export program so you'll ahead and just say yes to that you need to make sure your QuickBooks is running while you're doing this once that's done you'll see a little entry made into your QuickBooks web connector program now the web connector just kinda runs in the background on your computer so um, it's set up to go ahead and and ask Bright Alive to export data every hour I'm sorry every um, day you can always update it manually and we're gonna go ahead and do that now so that we can take a look at how the export actually works and how it affects your QuickBooks account okay before we see how the data is exported let's look at what, um, what test data we've set up in our Bright Alive account here so let's look at transaction list for the day um, for today which is 9-11 okay I've created two transactions and the first one is a special order which has 50 percent paid so we'll see a deposit come across the QuickBooks export and then we also have a sale which is always immediately completed always payment taken in full in every situation okay also we have some receiving vouchers in place so let's take a look here um, if we search our receiving vouchers we see that on 9-11 we received some inventory for 155 and this was created as a stock order okay so let's go back to our QuickBooks web connector and go ahead and do our first export. It's going to ask us to enter our password, so you're going to need to go back to your settings screen and enter in your password. You can just copy and paste. Then we'll go ahead and choose update selected again. Do you want to save the password? Yes. And choose update selected again. QuickBooks will now connect to Bright Alive and import all of the Bright Alive data into your system. Okay, it usually just takes a few seconds for it to do that. So let's go see where Bright Alive exported this information to QuickBooks. If we go into the company menu and choose Make journal, General Journal Entries, you'll see two journal entries made, uh, sometimes more than that, uh, depending on what sales data you have. But in our scenario here, we just have a simple cost of goods sold entry made that reflects the receiving voucher that was uh, placed into Bright Alive for today. And then we have a uh, merchandise sales and unearned revenue um, uh, journal entry made here. The reason why it's made this way is because our export module assumes that all revenue deposited into the bank account will be deposited as merchandise sales. So for this day, in our example, we had a $250 sale and a $125 payment. So your bank account would show $375 of revenue that day, but Bright Alive here is saying that hey, that $125 was really a deposit and that needs to be moved to unearned revenue. So Bright Alive helps your QuickBooks manage the the unique sales cycle that we have in Bridal. Alright, so then now let's go and take a look at where the receiving vouchers and how those come in. So if we go to vendors and we go to pay bills, we'll see that we have a, that Sherry Hill um, voucher in here. So you just want to uh, go ahead and, and pay that but if you open up the bill you can see that it has uh, the receiving voucher number that came over from Bright Alive and then also um, the the BL receiving item is what's created um, in your in your QuickBooks to reflect all items received through Bright Alive and then you have um, the th I put three different fees on the test receiving voucher so that we could see how it works but you can see all the mappings that we specified on our mapping screen are being taken into account here and and putting um, you know shipping in the right place and fees in the right place and any discounts in the right place as well and that wraps up the QuickBooks export module